Welcome back to Camp Witch Doctor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together the lifter robots. Each of the weapons on the lifter robots is two parts. You can refer to your build book to see how to put these together, or you can just look at the pictures on the box. You fit the parts into each other just like this, and then we're going to go ahead and install screws in those holes. Now that your lifter weapon is assembled, let's see how we connect it to the robot. In order to mount it, we're going to put our finger right in here and move this servo horn up a little bit. That makes this hole easier to access, which is what we're going to mount it. Take one of the smaller screws and put it through either hole in your lifter link. Then we're going to install this into the top hole on your servo horn. So go ahead and put it in from the same side of the servo. You want it to be on this side of the servo horn. And then you're going to use your Phillips head screwdriver to install that. You don't want the screw to be super tight where this stays in place like this. So let's back it up a tiny bit and this should be easy to turn like that. All right, now I'm going to push this a little bit out of the way so we can go ahead and install the lifter arm. Your lifter arm has this triangle hole that goes all the way through the back. Your frame also has triangle holes, so we'll mount it there. I'm just going to place it right in the middle like that so that those holes align. You're going to take the shorter axle that comes with your kit. You're going to slide it through your chassis and out the other side. Should look like this with a little bit of axle left on both sides. Just with that, we can move our lifter arm up and down. So we're almost there. Next, we're going to use your shaft collars to hold the shaft in place. Each of these shaft collars has a little set screw, just like we saw for installing your wheels. You're going to use your hex key and put it right into that set screw, just like this. And then you can kind of use that as a handle to slide it over your axle. Now, if it doesn't fit in right away, remember that you can loosen the set screw a little bit to get it to fit. So I'm going to tighten that first one, making sure I still have a little bit of shaft sticking out this side for the other shaft collar. And then I'm going to do the same thing on that side. It helps to hold the shaft with the finger on the other side so you don't push it through when you do this. And then we're going to tighten that side. All right, so now the shaft is held in place and we can move this up and down. So our lifter arm is installed. The last step we need is to connect these two things together, and we're gonna do that with one of the screws that you use for most of your build. You see there's one hole here that we still haven't used. We're gonna take your lifter link and put it right in that hole. Now that they're both aligned, you can put that screw in there. It's just like with the other screws, we're gonna use your Phillips head screwdriver to install it. Remember this screw doesn't have to be super tight, it's just acting as an axle for this to be able to spin. All right, so now you can see since it's connected to the servo, it's staying up. Now you can go ahead and move the lifter arm up and down by hand, and you can see that it's actuating that servo. You can hear it. So this is looking great. You want to make sure that your arm's all the way down so you can get under opponents with the lifter robot like this. So let me show you how to tweak that position using the trims on your transmitter. Let's start by making sure that your weapon stick is all the way down and this trim is centered. I'm going to turn on the transmitter, and then I'm going to turn the robot on. Let's test to make sure that it works. All right, that's looking good. Now, if you look closely here, you can notice that every time I put the weapon all the way down, it lifts the robot off the ground a little bit. This is fine if you prefer it this way. It puts a little bit more weight on the front, so it may be better for getting under opponents. Uh, but let me show you how to change that. So if you play with the trim here, you'll see that if you push the trim up, it moves the arm up. And if you push it down, it moves the arm down. So if I want to make sure that the robot is on the ground so that I can also scoop people up with this part, I'll just move it until I'm happy with the position there. So you can see the robot's all the way down and the arm's all the way down. If you wanted to tweak it even further, you can see that that lifts it up. So you have quite a bit of range here to adjust the position of your weapon. If when you turn on your robot, you hear that it makes a sound like this, that means that the servo horn is actually hitting something inside your robot. This could drain your battery faster, so we don't want to hear that sound. In this case, it's because my trim is all the way down. So if I adjust it up a little bit, you can see that that sound stops. So this is the lowest that I should have the arm. You should never have this sound all the time. It's okay if your robot makes that sound when you have another robot on top of you because then it's normal for the servo to be doing a lot of work. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put it how I like it. So that the lifter arm just barely touches the floor. All right, now I'm going to turn my transmitter off. I'm going to turn my robot off. And the last step to finish this robot is to put our top plate on. For the lifter robots, just make sure that everything is below the top plate level so you're not going to pinch any wires. And then we're just going to slide the top plate on from the top. And you're going to install all these top plate screws to make sure it's on nice and secure. And your lifter robot is done. All right, you now have a functioning weapon on your lifter robot. Congratulations on getting to this point in the build. If you're building a flipper robot, tune into the next video to see how we put that one together.